This equestrian competition challenges riders with a series of jumps and maneuvers. From the stands, the hurdles don't seem too challenging. But to rider Bethany Pearson, just getting on the horse is a major achievement. My accident was uh, December 9th of 05, and I went to see the movie The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe with a church group, and my sister and I and her friend were the first to leave. And as we were um, just driving and turning from one road onto the next, my car slid across into the lane of oncoming traffic, and I was T-boned by a truck. Bethany and her sister Hannah suffered life-threatening injuries and were rushed to the hospital. When her family arrived at the emergency room, they were given the grave report. Bethany had uh, life-threatening injuries, but was stabilizing well. The news on Hannah was far worse. Her injuries were far too severe, and she died that evening. Bethany spent the next two weeks in the pediatric intensive care unit at Gillette Children's Specialty Healthcare with significant head trauma. Her facial injuries made her unrecognizable. I just peeked over the bed and I saw her and her face was crushed and swollen and she had a black eye and at first I didn't even recognize her and um, I didn't know if I would ever have her back. As she started to wake from her coma, she was transferred to Gillette's rehabilitation unit to begin her recovery. She was very severely injured. I mean, she suffered a lot of injuries to, to her face as well as to the internal structure of her brain, so she had a lot of cognitive issues. Bethany was unable to speak or breathe on her own, and she had extensive facial paralysis. Through therapy, she began the slow process of rehabilitation and recovery. One of the first really key therapy sessions was occupational therapy. And I remember when Anna came in and she had a clipboard and she said, Bethany, what can you write? Can you write your name? She wrote her name. She wrote her brother's name. We were all just marveling that it meant she was in there. Each day, Bethany went through a regimen of therapies, physical, occupational, speech, and others. We were told very early on that, hey, this is a 24-month-plus journey. I mean, she's, she will not make all of her progress all at once, and we've, we've, we came to realize that very, very early on. As Bethany struggled to recover, the rest of the family struggled with the loss of daughter Hannah. Gillette was there to help. Gillette in and of themselves kind of sees our family and took our family as a whole. And I think the nurses also picked up and they saw that, you know, they realized we were a family kind of in, in crisis and we are a hurting family and that we had lost Hannah and that Bethany was so critically injured. So I think the nurses and the staff really took us also under, under their wings. There's a whole host of disciplines that work together to try to help a patient um, work on their improvement, but also get them ready for transitioning back into the community, back to home, back to school. Because what we're trying to do is give people as many tools to get back into their life and do the things that are important to them, because everybody has their own interests. And for Bethany, obviously, one of those interests was horses. Bethany's love of horses was even introduced into her therapy sessions. They rigged up a bolster and they attached the saddle to it, and so Bethany was able to get on her horse even though she was barely walking. They were really encouraging in saying, if you want to ride, there are certain things you have to accomplish. And you're gonna have to work hard, but you can get there. So then I would work hard. So they said, yep, that goal is accomplished now. Let's keep going. Let's work on the next step that's going to get you closer to getting back on your horse safely. She surprised everyone with her steady recovery. After two months of intensive physical, occupational, and speech therapy, Bethany was strong enough to leave Gillette and continue recovery at home. Through it all, Bethany longed to get back to her horse, Daniel. Working with her physicians, they charted a course for her to reintroduce herself to riding. Seeing Bethany get on Daniel again was, 
was very, very important. Watching her in the saddle and then riding and then jumping, you know, those, those things very early on are very, very encouraging. So it worked out well. I mean, we couldn't be, we couldn't be happier. She's come a long way from her first days at Gillette. When I ride, I feel free, not disabled, not judged, but confident and capable. And, um, you know, sometimes like you have wings. She's such an inspiration. She didn't let what many people would have seen as a, a roadblock and like a stopping point. She didn't let it be a stopping point. She saw it as a hurdle she had to get over and to reach the goals that she wants to work towards. And although she didn't get over every hurdle, this time she has jumped higher than anyone expected. Success doesn't always mean getting a first place ribbon. You know, sometimes it can be just getting on and getting in the ring and getting over a jump or two. And that is success for me. And I feel good in my heart that I accomplished something that I really wanted to do today. Her family credits Gillette for her remarkable recovery and return to everyday life. Gillette is a amazing center where kids are having miraculous recoveries like Bethany because they have skillful care. They not only have the uh, high quality capabilities to care for uh, hurting kids, they have the compassion side. We were fortunate. When you're told that they hoped to keep your child alive long enough for you to say goodbye and instead you get to take that child home. You can't say thanks enough. Today, Bethany is back to being a teenager, hanging out with friends, spending time with a family, and planning for the future. She has a really indomitable spirit. She fights to get back to as much of who she was before. She is, she's going to be a force to reckon with. Going through a uh, traumatic injury definitely changes you and it can either make you bitter or it can make you better. And I think Bethany is going to be a better person. She is going to become an amazing, caring adult and an asset to society. And I'm excited to see how far she's gonna go. I don't put any limits on her daughter.